Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, I, I've got two wines today, but, and I've got a spittoon, but I don't think I'm going to need it because both of these are uh, low, well, very low alcohol. I think 0.5%, it says, uh, on, on the label. Uh, they're from Torres, and it's the Natureo range. Now, there's been a Natureo white, white in the UK for three years, something like that, but uh, this is the first time I've seen the, uh, the rosé and the red, so I better give them a whirl. The uh, rosé uh, de-alcoholised wine, Syrah Cabernet Sauvignon 2011, uh, and I'm, I'm, I think it's made from pretty much the same, um, uh, from grapes in the same place that they, they, uh, Torres gets most of their stuff from, so, uh, uh, so we're in Penedes, but um, let's just try it and see how we get on. It smells slightly medicinal, like rose hip syrup with a little bit of, um, uh, I can't remember the last time I had tinned strawberries, but the juice that you get in a tin of strawberries. It's actually rather nice. Um, uh, what I remember about the, uh, the white, which was based on muscat, is um, it felt like it had the flavours, but something of the heart of the wine was missing. Here, uh, maybe, it's, I don't know, it's a touch sweeter or anything like that, but uh, it's got more uh, juicy fruit, uh, and it does feel off dry. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have any figures on uh, quite how much sugar there is in there, but um, what I call fair enough, uh, wine stroke de-alcoholised wine. And again, I spat it out. Oh, dearie me. Habits of a lifetime. Um, so the red. Uh, so this is Syrah. So that was Cabernet and Syrah. This is Syrah 2011. Let's try this. Now, in the world of lower alcohol wines, um, uh, it's, uh, the whites have, and rosés have been reasonable. It's the reds that I've really struggled with. It almost seems like when you take the alcohol out, uh, there's still a little bit of the tannin there. I think they, they do their best to try and make it as low tannin as possible and maybe leave some sugar to, uh, to counterbalance it. Um, and here it feels like I'm going to have something of the same problem. Uh, there's a smokiness, almost a South African type of slightly rubbery smokiness that I get here. Uh, yes, there's some fruit here, but it's a, a baked berry, but it doesn't feel um, quite as um, uh, confident in, in, its, uh, in itself as, as the rosé did. But let's taste it. It's okay, um, and um, I don't notice any of the, the, the tannins poking out. Uh, some of that smokiness that I get when I smell it, not so much there when, uh, when I taste it. Um, and again, they've used, uh, they've, 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 they've sort of rounded it out with a little bit of sugar. Um, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, and uh, I, I, both of these I very happily drink, actually. Um, and um, I suppose you, if, if you insist on having a wine-style uh, drink, if you're, if you're not dry, if, you, if you're driving or if you're for health reasons or whatever, these are pretty good. And uh, to be honest, I mean, just thinking about them in comparison with the, uh, with the white, I think I like the red as much as the white, and I think I like the rosé a little bit more. Hey, see you soon.